Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Easter is a principle, a kaleidoscope of principles, I mean, field event for, 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 for our lives. Principles that can take us from one degree of glory to the other. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, bloody hands. Now, you remember Pilate. Now, Pilate looked at Jesus, at the trial of Jesus, when Herod, he, and it is very, very interesting. Herod and Pilate had been mortal enemies for a very long time. But for this particular thing, the crucifixion of Jesus, they, they became friends. We'll talk about that later. But here's the thing. When Pilate examined Jesus, examined him, he interrogated him. He brought him before. He used every principle of the law. He said, I find no fault in this man. And yet the cacophony of crucifying him over was deafening. The noise was so deafening that Pilate said, Pilate said, well, if that's what you want, I'm going to give it to you. And then Pilate did something that for me was weird and absurd. You knew the man was not guilty. You knew the man was innocent. You knew the man had not done anything. And then the Bible said, then he took a bowl of water and washed his hands and said, I have washed my hands of it. You, you, you think that washing of your hands with water and soap would take away the blood that's, that has stained your hands? The bloody stains will be there. A man's blood is on your hands. You can wash your hands. You can bath. We can use parazo. You can even use whatever it is. You can even burn the distance with acid. But I can tell you that it will never take away the guilt. It will never take away the stain, the bloody hands that you have. It will never take it away. You know, this is what happens sometimes. Sometimes we know someone is innocent and we know the other person is innocent. We contribute to it and then we think that by saying, oh, I don't know anything about it. That absorbs us of the, of, of the crime or that absorbs us of the guilt. It will never absorb us of the guilt. We will wear the guilt chain until we do the right thing. Now that's a, that's, that's a serious thing. And you'll be very, very surprised that sometimes you spend time in the assassination of somebody's character and then when it comes to the crunch, you, you say by the washing of your hands or by saying, well, I don't know anything away, that absorbs you of the guilt. It does not. Your hands are still bloody with innocent blood. Your hands are still bloody with somebody you've helped tear to pieces who doesn't need to do that. Somebody who has done no crime, somebody who has done nothing wrong. But you've contributed with your lips and your tongue. You felt a judgment. You felt a, a court, a kangaroo court in your mind. And you felt a kangaroo court that passes judgment. Your tongue has lacerated. Your tongue has become the instrument that lacerates somebody's character, tears the person's character to pieces. And then you think that by saying, I don't know anything about it, it absorbs you. It will never absorb you. It will never take away the guilt unless you do the right thing. And the right thing is called repentance. I've got blood on my hands. How sad it is that sometimes we walk in parade, but our hands are sullied with the blood of innocent people. People we've torn to pieces with our tongues. People we've gossiped about. People that we've, 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 we've hurt when they've done nothing to us. And by pretending we don't know, we think the guilt will go away. Well, in our minds, sometimes our consciences can be seared with hot iron, but it doesn't change the judgment of God. It doesn't change it. It doesn't change the truth. The truth is that you got blood on your hands. So maybe it's about time now you take a good look at your hands and see whether these hands of yours have been bloodied with innocent blood. And sometimes it's about time you go back to those people and say, I'm sorry. And above all, look up to heaven and say, heaven, I'm sorry. Well, it's a choice. To either keep bloody hands or it's a choice to keep your hands pure. Water will not wash away the guilt, but the blood of Jesus washes away the guilt. It's a choice you have to make. See you later.